Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about piezoelectric transducer. You may heard this name. You may hear this name piezoelectric transducer in many applications where pressure is being converted into electrical quantity like voltage or current. So in piezoelectric transducer, the pressure is converted into a change in electric static charge Q or voltage V generated by crystals when mechanically it is stressed as shown in the figure. See, this is the place where we are applying the pressure. This is the place where we are applying the pressure on it. And these are force summing elements which are placed on the crystal. It's a quartz crystal material produces an output voltage when the force summing element is having in some influence on this particular quartz crystal. That means what happens, we are applying some pressure on this force summing member. The force summing member will press this crystal so that the crystal oscillator changes its output voltage. Okay, so this is the base to rest this crystal. The equivalent circuit of this crystal is similar to a series resonance of RLC. A series resonance of RLC circuit can be formed if we take the equivalent resistance of the crystal oscillator. So crystal oscillator generally it will be having 30 MHz around frequency. The equivalent resistance can be written in terms of series RLC circuit. And these are, represents the self capacitance of the capa crystal. This represents the C2 represents the self capacitance of the crystal circuit inside, and uh, the series RLC circuit represents the inertia, friction, and the stiffness of the crystal. So, for a piezoelectrical transducer element under pressure, part of the energy is converted into an electrical potential electronic electric potential that appears on the opposite faces of the element analogous to charge on the plate of the capacitor the rest of the applied energy is converted into mechanical energy which is analogous to compressed string when the pressure is removed it turns to its original shape and loses its electric charge so what happens in the previous diagram we have seen when pressure is applied on the force summing element the crystal will change its output voltage that means the entire pressure what we are applying on the crystal will not be converted into the electrical energy some part of the energy will be converted into electrical energy and some part of the energy will be converted into mechanical energy so that some part which is converted into electrical energy will be shown in the output voltage change but the remaining part which is converted into mechanical energy that is compressing the spring which is we are having uh, applying pressure on it and when we are just removing it uh, the entire energy will be restored back and uh, it loses its complete charge <coughs> so from these relations the following formula have been derived for the coupling coefficient k k here it stands for coupling coefficient which is expressed as mechanical energy converted into electrical energy divided by applied mechanical energy <coughs> electrical energy converted into mechanical energy <coughs> divided by applied electrical energy so here there are four, two formulas we can write uh, for this <coughs> coupling coefficient one is the mechanical energy which is applied on this particular uh, uh, crystal so if we are applying electric mechanical energy then we have to use this formula if we are applying electrical energy then we have to use this formula so mechanical energy converted into electrical energy divided by applied mechanical energy and electrical energy converted into mechanical energy divided by applied electrical energy so these two cases are vice versa one is opposite to other an alternating voltage applied to the crystal causes it to vibrate to its natural response frequency, natural resonance frequency. I told you already series RLC circuits we are using. So series RLC circuit, parallel RLC circuit at a particular frequency, they are having the resonant frequency. That means at a particular frequency, it is having the maximum amplitude. Above and below these, this particular frequency, it doesn't have any 
frequencies it doesn't have any oscillations so, so at particular frequency that frequency is known as resonance frequency so now when we, whenever we are applying some alternating voltage what happens the crystal causes some vibrations at a particular frequency that frequency is known as resonant frequency since the frequency is very stable quantity is a very stable quantity piezoelectric transducer crystals are principally used in high frequency accelerometers so because of this stable nature of this frequency which is generated by the crystal oscillator this type of oscillators are generally preferred in the radio frequency communication or radio frequency accelerometers <laughs> The principal disadvantage is that voltage will be generated as long as the pressure applied to the piezoelectric element charges, changes. That means it is having some disadvantage whenever we are applying the pressure on it, the piezoelectric element changes. So whenever it changes, it keeps on changing its characteristics. So each and every time it is having a problem with the output voltage. So let us discuss some uh, applications, advantages, disadvantages of this uh, uh, piezoelectric transducer. So advantages, some of the uh, advantages I have uh, uh, framed here and I am going to explain few advantages among them. The first one is the piezoelectric transducer has good frequency response. I told you already it is used mainly in the radio frequency communication because it is having high frequency response. So that's why it is preferred at radio frequencies. <clears throat> it is small in size. So piezoelectric uh, transducer is very small in size so that we can easily incorporate in any devices which convert some pressure into electrical quantity. And it is very, it, it is easy to handle because of its small dimension. The same point, the second point is nothing but say, it is second point says that it is very small in size. So because of that, it is very easy to handle. It has rugged construction. It is available in the desired shape. Whatever the shape you are expecting, that shape we can easily construct the, using this piezoelectric transducer. It has a negligible phase shift. Whatever the voltage generated when we are applying the <coughs> pressure on it, so that is having a phase shift which can be negligible. Okay, that means very low phase shift can be obtained there. Natural quartz and barium titanate can be made any desired form and shape. So some materials which are used to construct the crystal uh, oscillator, such type of materials which are using the crystal to be operated in a desired shape. <coughs> they are quartz and barium titanate. So we know very well naturally we use quartz as a crystal oscillator so that's why everywhere it is written as quartz quartz instead of crystal so quartz is nothing but a crystal which produces oscillations at regular intervals of time it offers high output that is measured in the electronic circuits so coming to the disadvantages of this piezoelectric transducer so piezoelectric transducer is also having some disadvantages the first one is high temperature sensitivity <laughs> it is having high temperature sensitivity high temperature sensitivity so when the temperature increases here that there is a change in the output voltage that means uh, it is more sensible towards the temperature some crystals are water sol soluble and dissolve in high humid environment okay suppose if we go see first point is related to temperature second point is related to humidity both are different so if we operate such type of devices a piezoelectric transducers which is which is very small and compatible to carry anywhere if such devices are under this you more humidity environment simply what happens they they will be soluble and as well as dissolved the piezoelectric transducer is used for dynamic measurement only not suitable for static conditions so if we are changing the characteristics that is okay but when we are stay observing the characteristics at a particular uh, point of time always then it is not preferred 
okay because piezoelectric transducers are characteristics are keep on changing depending upon the and uh, several environment con environmental conditions so these cannot be used for static conditions or static measurements so it needs high piezoelectric cable for electrical interface because the device operates with very small electric charge and the output obtained from the piezoelectric transducer is low so that external electronic circuit can be connected because the output voltage is low output obtained from the piezoelectric transducer is low so external electronic devices can be connected so here i am going to explain few applications where we can use this piezoelectric transducer one is it is used in record players it is used in record players and it is used in accelerometer it can be used in electronic watches as well because it is having internal oscillator and whenever we are pressing uh, giving pressure it changes its oscillations so it is used in spark ignition conditions and so these are the applications of this piezoelectric transducer so what are they one is record players we are using the piezoelectric transducers in record players we are using them in uh, accelerometers and we can also use them electronic watches and as well as spark ignition engines so these are the main four applications of this piezoelectric transducer so in this video we have seen the basic diagram of piezoelectric transducer and uh, what is the working of this piezoelectric transducer advantages disadvantages and applications of this piezoelectric transducers also discussed thank you